Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I am the worm. This oh, is the oh, proton. I'm ahead it's... of the game. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Might be a word. Um, today yeah. um, we are doing a mod that uh, Proton brought a f about a week and a half, week and half, two weeks ago. Yeah, we've kind of fallen behind with our own personal stuff because uh, we have bits and bobs to do. We have bits and bobs. Yeah. So basically things today, and stuff. Things and stuff. Um, today we are doing the Corolla uh, mechanical mod. This was from uh, Pink Mule. We probably will put that up there somewhere. Um, that is the Corolla mechanical. Okay, mm. it's, it's literally a straight up mechanical mod. Very very simple. Um, I'll go through a few of the nitty gritty bits and mobs straight away. First off the bat, um, it is a telescopic. So as you can see, I can telescope it. I'll bring it a little bit closer. Basically, just keep twisting, and it gets bigger and bigger. Right up and now, Okay, so you can telescope it very, very nicely blended in there. Um, it will take uh, an 18350, an 18500, uh, and an 18650. You can also use your kick on this, and you can use that with the 350 and 500, but not the 18650. Um, personally, I've been running it on the 500. Uh, this is one of the flat tops that Worm accidentally got sent through. Uh, 2,210 mAh, so lovely big uh, battery size, uh, and it just it does look wicked. Um, I'll quickly put this in. Basically, when you're putting the batteries in, what you want to do is you want to telescope it out a bit further than you need, like this. Okay, plunk your battery in, screw your top on, and then you telescope it back till it meets the connection. You, you, there's a quite clear point where it's finished. It literally just won't turn. There, that's it, done. That's it in 18500. It is incredibly small, this thing. I mean, even in 500 mode, it is only just bigger than an Ova compared to the Bravari in 500. It's this has got the extension cap, so it's, extension cap. it's not the same as the sand size. So. But when it's in 350 mode, honestly, I could lose this thing. It really is that small. I, I know it's only about an extra centimetre and a half, but it does make a big difference when you're using it. It's just, I mean, you can't even see it in my hand. It's so small. It's fractionally from the 510 fractionally bigger than an over with the uh, drip tipping so properly well, small. Like out, that is the uh, bigger nova that we've got which is slightly of like it's two about, three about mil. three or four mil longer than the other one but it's minimal um basically this is 30 how much is it 30 i'll pay, I'll pay 30 quid basically it's 33 82 um including tax we got a 10% discount code, so I paid a fraction over 30 quid for it. So really good price. Um, I was looking for sort of a, a well-built cheap mechanical. It is um, chrome-dipped brass. It is not uh, stainless, but to be honest with you, it's very good quality. It's not picking up scratches at all. It does pick up fingerprints, but obviously it's very polished, so it's going to. A few of the features, basically your button there, that's locked in a minute. You've got a little screw on the button here. I'll just screw that down like that, and that allows me to push the button and then you screw it back up and that will there we go that will lock your button off. It's as simple as that. Another cool feature on the side here. Yeah. Well going back in, we were never out. On the side there you may see it's got some air holes. You can adjust this airflow using this ring here. So it screws down like that and that cuts off your airflow. So if you've got a flush fitting device that feeds from the 510 you can actually manually adjust your air hole which is really cool as well. Um, Bill quality of the thing, it's very solid. It is very solid. It's made by the same people who made the uh, Lambo. When we were speaking to Mind Rover on Skype, he went, ooh, uh, not a good thing because he bought a lava tube and was not very happy with it. Personally, I love this thing. It's very well weighted with this 500 in. It's slightly top heavy. To take apart, it is really simple. It's literally, you can screw your connection off like that. There goes your 510. There goes your adjustable air ring, airflow ring. Then you've basically got your native connection in there. You literally take your bottom cap off, pop out your battery, and you can unscrew this eventually all the way to the end. Ugh, we're getting there. It is a long screw thread in there, guys. It does go all the way up that uh, center tube. All the way up this center tube. But that is it in its parts. It's, it's really, really simple, nice and easy to use. Um, we have experimented with it a little bit and then we'll get back onto it, but the Vamo tube does fit on this as well. If you're just going to run it in 18650 and you want it solid, you could use a Vamo tube. Um, yeah, you could use Vamo tube, yeah. I would like to say this thing doesn't like me. It really doesn't. Like the, the screw, makes the, the lock off to the button seems to just tighten itself up so it won't fire on me. Uh, the top unscrews on me and any device I put on it just seems to flood instantly. I touch it, it's blood. 
But then that wasn't just this, was it? It was everything you touched yesterday flooded. Yeah, it was, it was all that. Everything. Yeah, he did manage to flood an Nova on, I don't know how, um, but he managed to flood a very, very well built Nova. Um, let's say, in terms of build quality, everything feels solid. The only thing that feels a little bit cheaper is this adjustable airflow ring because it's slightly thinner, but still, it's nice and solid. It's not going anywhere, and that just literally screwed back onto here, like so. And then does it only go one way if that screwed that air hole? What in? do you mean? Can I turn it over? Yeah, can you turn it over? Is it adjustable? Well, what, what if it does? Doesn't it? Uh, I don't know. It's just saying we can try now. Yep, goes on both ways. Goes on both ways. There you go, guys. So that's it. Come on. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone down, but now I can't adjust the way down. Might not go on both ways. Let Why me not? just check that. And flip it back over. No, it goes on one way. There is a slight lip at the top. There you go. So it does go on one way. Make sure it's the right way. Will you be able to tell? Will you be able to screw it on? And that just screwed back on there. It's beautifully simple. It really is. Um, I mean, I wanted a mechanical mod for a number of reasons. Um, one, they're very versatile. Two, they're cheap. Three, there's no interference. There's no pulse modulation. Um, and there's no, more importantly, chipset to stop you running any ohms you like. Main reason when I bought this is because I wanted to run seriously low resistance coils, like 0.4 ohms. He um, says cheap, but it's not the cheapest mechanical out there, I would like to point out. There are cheaper ones out there. What? I mean, the Segeli 19. Segeli 19 is the same price, mate. It's 30 quid. Yeah, it's cheaper price than packaging, isn't it? Well, From the UK, yes. yes. But, like, the price for that, you can get that. The Vamo. You can get the Vamo, but that... They're, they're two completely different types of device, though, aren't they? Yeah, but you, um, I mean, for this, what he bought you for was a specific reason. But all I'm saying is that it is a cheap mod, but there are. So it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on. I'm not sure. There has been issues with everything that I've touched recently, and in fact, I've just taken. I had it well. yesterday, he's having it today. I am having Yay! one of those. <laughs> I am having one of those. Thank days. God it's not me today, because. Uh, what did I say? This hasn't happened with an over before. There you go, we're back again. I think I hadn't tightened the top up properly. There you Make go. sure you tighten everything up properly. Um, but yeah, it's, it, I mean, I've used it a couple of times. When it, when I do get it working with uh, the device I'm using it on, it's, it's beautiful. It performs exactly how it should. It's just a standard battery mod that when you've got full charge battery, you're going to run at 4.2. When it drops off, it's going to run close to like 3.4. Until it's under load. Uh, once it's under load, that does change slightly. I mean, you thought your batteries, you're rating 650s, you're rating 350s, uh, and you're rating 500s. They are 3.2 volts when dead and 4.2 volts when full, but that's not under load. So I'll put this in fully charged, 4.2 volts. Under load, that may drop to like 4, 3.9. Um, it has got a, a brass hot spring in the bottom of it, um, so that should improve the drop of that battery. Without it, they can drop as low as like 3.1. So it's really, really redonkulous if you haven't got that. I haven't actually got a volt um, to test this, um, so I can only give you accurate, inaccurate answers to this. We will. I've got one, but not with me. But no one's more interested in the story than no, everybody's I'm, list. Uh, I'm waiting to hear about fucking horse. You sure? Mm. What else have you got to talk about? Are you stuff. just trying to stall the stuff? You're just trying to stall no, the No, I do want to point out as well, this is genuine stuff. You can buy the VAMO for this. With the VAMO, the VAMO will operate and it changes the voltage of that battery, so it's up and down, which is why you get a big rattlesnake effect. With this, you don't get a rattlesnake. With this, it's a constant because the voltage stays the same. It's constant. There's no chipset interfering trying to increase or decrease the voltage in this mod. So it is a cleaner vape. I've noticed if I have this set and I put the Nova on it, it doesn't taste as clean because you've got a constant voltage running through it. It doesn't taste as clean um, on the Vamo. We noticed in previous videos with the Provari compared to the Vamo sort of thing, it is a slightly more stable vape. Mm. Even still, though, this is more stable this, than the Provari. It is going to be. There's no chipset because there's nothing interrupting. It's just literally you. The battery just switches. No wires in this. It is totally mechanical, which is wicked. Um, because even when you get the cheaper mechanical mods, because we hover about 13 quid in there, yeah. there's still wires from the switch. Now, you may say that doesn't make a difference. That affects how much amps you can run through them wires. Now, the mod I'm thinking of, um, it's been tested quite high amps, but not as high as this will go, just one. Um, it's not something that you want to do unless you're basically looking at a very easy mod to use, which this is. It doesn't get any simple. You put the battery and push the button. Um, they're very rugged, this is. I can imagine I could probably drop this from quite a height without a problem. If it was like Bavari, he'd probably go, no, and run for it. Um, I'd jump also, out the window after it. Also, I've, I've heard people say that they've run these through washing machines and whatever else is still working. Having that chipset taken out of the equation has definite benefits. Okay, it does have drawbacks. As this battery starts to get lower and lower and lower, your vape um, quality decreases slightly. Um, all I will say is, with this 1.8 ohm clearomizer, the Nova on top, 2,200 miles should last me two or three days. 
realistically because it's just you're using very little power um, because you're not up and down in it all the time you're not pushing the device seriously hard you're not trying to rape the crap out of the batteries um, I can't remember what else I was going to say how you to my story now then? <sighs> well what was it like a week ago now? last night and about a week now yeah but last night it worked the week ago in the evening when I died from vapor. Uh, the point being is he, we, we like we said earlier, this, this uh, bottom cap will screw it into that. And when you put the extension cap on that with the base from this, you get you a can, dual stacked 18500s. You can stack 18350s in this. I do want to point out before we get properly into the story, you can stack 18350s in this. Do not stack your batteries in a mechanical mod. Do not stack them in a mechanical. Do not stack them in any mod unless it's made to do it. The Vamo is made to do it. All right. Basically, in the Vamo, you put two 18350s in. You check your batteries. Those of you guys that bought Vamo, my recommendation will know this. You put the two 18350s in there, as opposed to having 3.2 and 4.2 for empty and full. You have 6.4 and 8.4 because you doubled it. All right. Do not stack batteries in this mechanical mod or any mechanical mod. It's not made to do so, that. So basically, we had two fully charged 18500s pushing out. 8.2? About 8.4 oh, 8 before drop off um, under load. I don't know, I'd imagine it's not going to drop much, maybe to 8 at best. Yeah. Um, so it's stacked 4,000 Somewhere between 8.2, but like either side of that could be variable. Um, but basically, you put on a 0.5 on dual coil. DDA, DDA. That I'd, I'd whipped. And he thought, yeah, it will work with 8.2 volts. It did. Yeah, it, it did work. It did work. If you want to, if you want to vape burnt silica taste. Well, I did get a little bit of liquid taste, but mainly, <laughs> mainly for like just, half a second. In fact, we're talking fractions of milliseconds here. Basically, what it equivalents to, I can't remember the exact math, but I think but, I can at 8.2 volts and 0.5 ohms. It's like around 135 watts, I think, is what it was. Um, he coughed for about. 10 minutes you now enough from just doing one pull on this thing. I mean, he's not a small bloke, and to knock him over is going to take a lot. This thing near enough knocked him over. He was literally heaving, and he, and like most of the time, he will try and get me on stuff like this. If it tastes like crap, he'll go, Yeah, that's amazing. Try that. This was one of the times that he turned around and goes, You do not want to try that. That was terrible. He was like gagging and everything. It was just, I was sitting there pissing myself. I'm mean, <laughs> wrong, like. I, I, I run my dual called D down on this and it works lovely, like five ohm single battery. Um, and I am that is one of the main reasons why I bought this. I mean, the fact that I have come to quite like this and I use it on the 1.8 nose and stuff, the battery life is fantastic, it's very rugged, it's very versatile. There's not a lot you can do to this to break it, all right? And unless you're bending tubes and literally fracturing stuff on it. There's not a lot you can do to break it. It is beautifully simple. I don't worry about taking this out of me. It, it is so small. It fits in my pocket. I can stick a over in there as well. And I'm good for the day. It's not a big issue. It's nice to just, if I'm popping out of the shops, I ain't worried about my case. I take these, I'm off, I'm away. Fit in my pocket. It's a very, I want to say charming little mod. It's, no, it, it's, it's, um, it's got its little um something about it. You can't quite put your finger on it, but it's just, it's nice to just have. It's just like, you don't regret it. No, I'd rather have this than an ego battery all day long. There you go. If you're using mods and stuff, uh, a spinner's going to cost you like, say, 25 quid. This is only going to be like 30. So I would rather have this as a backup than anything else. And the fact that I can push any coil I want at any resistance is beautiful. Um, and it's just, it is just very well built. It's a nice piece of kit. And for 30 odd quid, 31 pound a bit, or 33 pound 82 to be precise, um, with tax, before this can comes from pinkmule.com. Uh, it's um, it's very nice. I actually really, really do like having this. I do use this now pretty much as, as much as I do the Vamo. Um, the Vamo has its definite features. I mean, with this, you can't test your ohms. You can't vape in watts. You can't go up to 6 volts. You can't do all that kind of stuff. But my way of thinking is, well, I can go, yeah, you don't go up to 6 volts. Okay, so you take a 2.5, 3 ohm cord up to 6 volts, fair enough. Give you about 14 watts. That's, that's good. I can take a 0.3 ohm coil to 4.2 volts. And give myself 40 watts. Um, so it does. You, instead of increasing your voltage, you reduce your resistance in this. I would like to say though, with uh, getting those low low ohm coils, you have got to have a seriously low resistance wire for a single coil, or you've got to be wrapping dual coils all the time, which is obviously going to use a bit more than what you would normally use. But for us, well, that doesn't matter. We got 
animals and stuff lying around, both in his box, both in my box. If anyone else runs out, we normally just go, yeah, yeah have a good week, whatever, sort of thing. But like for people out there that are running on like budget, this would be nice to have. Mm. Uh, if you're just going to run your cup, like your single core bogues at two ohms and and your um, dual cores maybe and your clearomizers. This hasn't got the ego threading on it, so you wouldn't need an adapter for something ego threaded like ego Kanga. threaded like a C4 or a Kanga uh, or a V3. I think the E uh, V mod as well, isn't it? What, sorry? The E mod or E mod. E mod. The Kanga E mod, yeah, the that's Kanga. Kanga. That's, um, that's the... ego threaded also. Um, but all your five tens will fit in there. It has got quite a nice size well, as you can see there. Um, so drip and juice isn't too much of an issue. But with this, if you drip juice. There's no chips in there. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't rinse it under tap because I'm going to wait for it to dry. But I will quite happily get a little bit of a wet cloth in there, wring it all around, um, and, it's, and it's back to perfect working quality. There's very, very little that goes wrong with this. I'm quite sure there's a lot you could replace on that as well. Like if like you wanted to rip out the actual thread on that, you could probably replace it if you're a little bit tech savvy in that. So you can modify this in any way you want. You could probably use this to put into a box mod. If you wanted to use it that way, sort of thing, and have a. You wouldn't need to, though, to be honest. To make a box more yeah. mechanical, all you need is the battery holder and some wires, a switch, and a 510 connection. It's a battery holder, isn't it? With yeah, a button. I, I wouldn't bother making this box more, though. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like, for people out there, whatever, if it does eventually, like, you do bend your tube on that, don't feel like I'm worried about it. You can bend it back out, and if it doesn't feel right in your hand still, you can recycle it to whatever you want. I mean, it is very, very versatile. It's a lovely little mod. It looks brilliant. It really does. I mean, if I get me a. One second. Over here again, sorry guys. If I get my. Oh god, I don't know what. Is that me, Argo? Yeah, oh well. Um, <laughs> if I get my stainless steel drip tip, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the clear tanks, but it does look very good. I know there's a bit of a, a width thing going on there, but Worm Zeus on this looks wicked because um, it basically fits the size of it. The A7 don't look too bad, although it doesn't like to perform at times. Um, but it's just lovely and simple. But that's, I think that's the main thing I like about this is there's no real maintenance. It's telescopic, so any size battery will go in it. It won't take the 14 um, 500s and that, uh, and that that some of the other mechanical um, telescopic mods will. But most of the mods that we use, or all of them, are on 18 batteries. And it doesn't matter what I've got. So I can have the Vama. I've got a couple of 8650s and 8500. Some flat tops I've got as 8650, some um, nipple tops. Whatever it is, I'll grab the nearest battery that's charged and I'll stick it in. And it will take it all yeah. day long, not a problem whatsoever. So I think it's brilliant for that. It is really, really good. It's very versatile. It is very versatile, yeah. especially on batteries. It is. It's just one of those ones where any battery will do it. Done job. Mm. So, I mean, there's, it's, just, there's, it's a much more we can say about this. It's a well, really we good a little point of view about it. Yeah, the point stuff. Um, looks, for me, it's a 9.5. Okay. Uh, the button on there, I was looking at Segeli 19. I actually said in the video I was looking at Segeli 19. Uh, I can't remember what it was. And it had the button on the bottom. And apparently, they do feel very comfortable to use. So, button at the buttons at the bottom. Having got this, I don't regret getting this at all with this button on the side. It's actually very nice to use. The button on the bottom, I think, would have taken a little bit of getting used to, but it does give you a nice flush body. But the button protrudes, because I'm running it on 8650, uh, 500, so you've got a gap in between the two body sections, which looks quite nice. The slat in there and the slat in on uh, this adjustable um, airflow matches with the Nova, the drip tip. Just that little stuff there for me looks brilliant. I'm really happy with how that looks. That's all it looks for me. It does look alright. I mean, it's not. My, it's, not your it's not my type of thing, so I don't like how that button is so far out with the locking mechanism there. But that's obviously so far out because of that locking mechanism. They could probably tuck it in a nice little bit to people than that without the locking mechanism. So, but overall, looks for me, it's, it's still a, it's still like an 8.5. It's still not ugly by any means, and just like it does look really, really, really nice on most stainless steel devices like tops that you're going to put on top of it. Well, so, it looks better than a lot of mechanical ones, and for this price, I haven't seen a better looking one. Uh, and in my opinion, it looks a hundred times better than a spinner or um, a standard ego battery. Yeah, it definitely looks better than an ego battery, but it's not still not my preference, especially when I've got a Vamo and my Provari over there. Mm. In, in terms of me, nothing's going to beat my Provari for looks because it's just not. Sorry. There you go. It's, that's a preference thing, though. Um, usability One 10. Button. One button, put the battery in, and screw it down. It's a 10. You, honestly, you can't get this wrong. If you do have one and you manage to, let me know how, because I can't see a way that you can get this wrong. As long as that battery goes in nipple top or a positive up and the flat end down, you can't get this wrong. It's very easy to use. Again, yeah, same for me. Use it as a 10. It's one button. Put in your battery. You're, you're away. Uh, maintenance. It's five parts. The top two parts, the top part and the uh, airflow ring, the telescopic uh, connector, and the base. That's it.
and obviously your section with the, the button. Okay. Maintenance is, is 10. It's very easy to clean. Okay. I haven't used it um, to like clean or anything, so I can't really say, but it doesn't look hard. I've seen him take it apart seven or eight times like today just because he was like playing around with this little uh, air hole and that. So uh, it's, it's a tennis. It's, it's, everything's, it, it looks, it goes where it looks like it should go. It really just, yeah, there's nothing it's, you can get confused and put in the wrong place. No, it's, it's, very, it's very, very idiot proof. So, yeah, 10. Um, I mean, obviously, Flavor Vapor will be out to people next one. We can't really do Flavor Vapor on this because it's a mod. Depends on your device that you're using. Indeed. But I would say that this delivers it very consistently. Whatever it is, this will deliver that power. As long as you've got through. the right coil or the right homage uh, 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 device in there, it's going to work. Mm. It's very nice. It's, I, I really enjoyed this actually because the vapor is just, it tastes. If I put, this is say it's run at 3.7, if I put the VAMO on this run at 3.7, the taste of this is just cleaner. You can hear the VAMO modulating that uh, voltage, whereas this is just pushing out its maximum constantly, and obviously as the battery gets lower, um, so does the power. It just, it makes sure it's just a constant good way all the way through. It does taste very clean, um, as long as your, your coil is of the right resistance. Don't try and run a 4 ohm coil on 4.2 volts for full battery, it's never going to work. I find around 1.5, Works pretty well consistently all the way through. If you're using like a little DDR or something, 1.5 on this, it will take you all day, and you can still run that quite happily at 3.4 volts when it's at the empty end. If you're using one of these 2,200 mile batteries, you charge it at night, you're never gonna you're never gonna meet the empty end. To be honest with you. Overall, did you? Yeah, I'm really going to turn that there. No, Overall, it's just the same. Um, if you include the price, the looks, it's like it's like a ten, a ten for me. I, I really do like this. Yeah, for me, it's still gonna be hitting around about an eight. Just because um, it's just not my preference of look, I and mean, I, I don't. If I was going to buy, if I was really interested in dual coin low homage, which I'm really not, as a one off payment, I would probably buy a one that looks better, which is probably going to cost me about 80 90 quid. But I would be sacrifice. I would be willing to sacrifice that for my looks. So it's I've, personal I've, preference. I've so. seen ones though. I, I mean, I've seen the ones a lot of these. The reason I wanted the telescopic because a lot of the telescopic, the top end is smaller than the bottom end, like the Sigilli 20, for example. I don't like the way it looks. I like it the way it all blends. And the other ones that are more expensive, um, they have removable tubes. So you put one tube on for this size, one tube on for that size. I wanted a true telescopic for looks. There's nothing really, apart from the 19, in this price range. But that's what I'm saying. Even twice the price. If, if I was going to buy this. one, I would. Sacrifice a bit of extra cash for the look style. Your main bug bit really is the button. Yes. And that button is on these mechanical mods all the way through, unless it's right at the bottom. Do you ever have a button there, a button there, or a button under here? I'll be honest with you, I don't think you'd be happy with any of them because all of no. the buttons protrude. I would probably want five of them. Mechanical mods aren't his thing. I, I'm not interested in low homage dual coils and that. If I was going to do a dual coil, I'd probably set it up for like two ohms so I can run it on my Vamo or my Bavari. At worst case, it's low ohms and really doesn't interest me I wouldn't buy one but if I was I would probably sacrifice a bit of extra money for how I want it to look. Look is very limited though it's something so, I've got to take into account and obviously performance is limited in terms of But still it's an overall of an eight for its price. It is a banging little mod. It really is. It's just very good I think. I loved it. I don't mind not using it. I mean like he pulls it over to me with his devices to try stuff and it's fine. Mm. I don't mind using the thing. It's just if it was mine I wouldn't I wouldn't buy one. I wouldn't buy a kind of mod. End of. It's, <laughs> it, it's not me. So you can't really say much more simple than that. At the end of the day, if you're looking at mechanical mods, then you are known. You know what you want to look for. I mean, they're all going to perform fairly similar. There will be differences, obviously, in, in the quality of the springs and stuff. It will affect, but they're all fairly similar. It's not like when you've got like Vamos all the way through to Bavaris, where each one regulates the pulses slightly differently, and have, some have different features to others. Some do the job better than others. This will do the job just as well. Um, some may do it slightly better, but realistically, it comes down to your battery a lot of the time. Um, if you're looking at mechanical mods, this is a great place to start, definitely. I'm very happy with this. I can't really say much more than that. It's just very, very good. Much better than any ego or anything else that you could get your hands on. Um, yeah, I just I do like this. On Little Nova 1.8, it just looks wicked, and it runs all through really well. There you go, guys. I think we've uh, kind of hit mm. the nuts. Yeah, I think we've come to the end of this review. Um, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's at Worm Big N Proton, um, and Facebook is it is <laughs> Worm and the ampersand, the symbol for and Proton dash Chapin Chapin 
chasing the perfect vape. Chasing the perfect vape. No, we're chaping the first. We're, cha vape. we're chaping the perfect vape. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to follow us on there, more than welcome. And um, we'll link Pink Mill underneath as well. You know, shout out Pink Mill a few times. They've got quite a lot of stuff on there. Actually, got loads of stuff on their site. It's loads of good stuff as well. Um, prices from the bottom end all the way to the top as well, which is pretty good. So definitely check them out. I know a few of our regular subs, Dan. Um, I know you've ordered a Zeus, my man Robert, you ordered a Zeus as well. You won't be sorry about that. It's lovely little word dripping out here. Actually, you can come and do that review in a minute. Um, are we going to show them how to re-wicket? I don't know yet. Probably. Um, so, yeah, have a look at Pink Mule. It's a really good site. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I have been Mr. Proton, and this has been Z Worm. Catch you soon, guys. See you soon, guys.